Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my custom made RoboGang lab. So this here is an E-Ranger base that I modified and I completely put in new lights and I soldered over the non-stop link in the computer here and I'll show you what it looks like in the dark because I've completely redone all the lights on this. So I thought for a while that the RoboGang are sort of lacking a base. So I made this one. This all lights up in the dark, so you'll see that in a minute. And the robot charger actually plugs in to the base. So I'm going to turn off the lights now so you can actually see what it looks like. So here you can actually see I did blue under lights. So, um, so yeah, it's a lot brighter under here now because before it didn't ever have any lights under here and then you can see the coil here that I put is a fiber optic light so that actually turns on and off and uh, that's actually plugged in to the computer board so I found out that it actually has a contact on the computer board that goes opposite of these blinking lights here so when these dim down that one turns on whereas normally the energy crystal will run simultaneously with these and then also I desoldered the original red and blue blinking lights that were in here and I replaced them with purple ones and then you can see the robot uh, does charge off of the base here and the laser cannon still functions how it should normally and uh, the energy crystal just stays on continuously now because of I plugged in the coil light and then I have the RoboGang satellite in the middle you can't really see it that well and then you can see these are all the blue under body lights. I really like how that turned out. And now it's actually running off of an adapter cord instead of batteries. And since I soldered over the non-stop link on the uh, computer board, it does not shut off after 10 minutes anymore. So it'll just stay on continuously until the cars steal the energy. I'm going to demonstrate one of these cars stealing the energy actually just need to find the correct channel so there you go so you sort of need to tape the cord out of the way though sometimes because the batteries are directly underneath the crystal so that's a little it's a little hard to steer these cars into the right spot So, there you go. So all the energy does turn off. Except for the robot has a capacitor on it. So it turns off after 5 minutes. But uh, this here still functions how it does with the E-Ranger base. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions on how I modified this, I'm happy to answer any questions. I've been doing this for a while now, um, I think three years, so I'm pretty good at modifying almost any Playmobil. So thanks for watching, if you have any questions just let me know, and be sure to subscribe to my channel.